What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here and to the channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about a little performance mod or kind of performance mod, not really, that I have on my BMW 320i with the NF2 engine right here. So the performance mod I'm going to be talking about in this video is called the BMS pedal tuner. Now if you've watched my other video where I talk about all of the performance mods I actually have on my N52 right here, I briefly discussed the pedal tuner, uh, not really in depth, just kind of went over it. So to provide a little bit of background on what exactly the pedal tuner is and its effect on the car. So the pedal tuner is a little device made by Berger Motorsports which does a lot of products and mods for BMWs and other car models. One of their products is the pedal tuner. So basically what the pedal tuner allows you to do is adjust the pedal sensitivity of your car to make it a little bit or a lot more sensitive so you don't have to press down on the pedal that much for it to just, you know, go fast. Now the effect this has on your car in terms of the driving experience, it just basically makes the car feel more quick, feel more torquey, and just overall more fun to drive because the car feels more quick. Now I do want to stress and note the importance that this does not add any horsepower to your car. All this does is just allow you to make the pedal more sensitive so that you don't have to press down on the pedal as hard for it to, you know, take off. So you can just press down a little bit on the pedal and the car will think that you're pressing down on the pedal, you know, halfway. It will respond with the engine thinking that you're pressing the pedal halfway down when really you're just only pressing it maybe 25% of the way down. So on the pedal tuner, there are actually three modes you can set the pedal sensitivity at. There is a street mode, which is green, then there's a sport mode, which is yellow, and then there's a race mode, which is red. Now, as you can guess, street mode makes the pedal a little bit more sensitive, sport mode makes it moderately more sensitive, and race mode makes it extremely sensitive, so you barely have to press it on the pedal for the car to just take off. Now that I've given you guys kind of like an overview of what exactly it is, I'll show you guys how to install it. So to install the pedal tuner, you're gonna have to remove the actual pedal assembly itself and to remove it all you're gonna need is just a five millimeter allen key and then a small flathead screwdriver and that's all you're gonna need so the first thing i'm gonna do is just remove this out of the way now the next thing i'm gonna do here is remove this little circle cover piece because that's covering the five millimeter allen screw that we're gonna need to remove Way. Then we're going to take the 5mm Allen key and unscrew this bolt here. Then we're going to have to remove the whole assembly which is sort of clipped in. All you have to do is just simply pull up and back. So pull up and then push back and it should just unhook from the back. And then you see there's a little electrical connection right here that I'm gonna disconnect. Just simply squeeze the two tabs and pull downward. Undone like that. So you can see that's where it was hooked into back here on this little metal piece that's sticking up. And then this little spike right here was hooked into this one of this hole right here on the side. So now that the pedal is out, we're gonna take the end uh, of our pedal tuner that connects into the pedal. This side is going to plug into the car, and then this side is going to plug into the actual pedal right here. Plug this in. And you just hear a click, and that's how you know it's in. And then we plug this side into the pedal. Now that everything is connected, we're gonna reinstall the pedal. Go. 
Now I'm gonna reinstall the five millimeter Allen bolt. Now reinstall the little cover piece. Once you have your pedal tuner installed, just turn on the car so that it sends power to the pedal tuner and then it will light up like this with a sort of whitish rainbow color right there in that square. Now before you can use it, you have to calibrate it. So to calibrate it, you just hold the plus and the minus buttons at the same time. And it'll light up like that. So all you have to do to calibrate it is just press the pedal down all the way from top to bottom a few times, like this. Make sure you go all the way down until it clicks. Basically what it's doing is getting the stock voltage level so that it can make adjustments for when you switch the modes to adjust the voltage level to increase the sensitivity or decrease it or whatnot. After you do it a few times, it should be ready. Then once you're finished, all you have to do is just hold the top button down. And then it'll light up again. And then it's ready to go. So I'll just take you through the settings again, like I described at the beginning of the video. So right now, as you can see, it's green, which is the street mode or stage one. And if you press the top button, it'll switch to this yellow type color orange color this is the sport mode or stage two second level and then if you switch again it'll turn red which is the race mode which is stage three the most aggressive and then if you press it again it'll go back to white or rainbow color which is your stock pedal sensitivity so if you don't want to tune the sensitivity you just want it to go back to stock you can just leave it in this mode and then if you noticed, as I went through the other modes, you can tune these within the mo you can tune the sensitivity within each mode by going up or down like that. Each mode has this, so you can see red is more aggressive, green is less aggressive, or you can just keep it on each mode with no adjustments. Same with the red, this, now this is, if you do all the way red, this is the most aggressive you can get with this pedal tuner. So once you have it completely installed and calibrated, uh, the spot that I put it originally was right here. I think this is the best spot to put it because it's just an easy access. You can just easily press the button right there and adjust it if you want. So that's where I think the best place to put it, in my opinion, is in this car. So I'm just using some double-sided tape on the back to just stick it on there, which is, I think, the cheapest and easiest way to secure this on there. And then once you have it stuck on there, you can just tuck all the wiring that's left underneath here in this little panel piece. Um, there's enough room to stick everything in there, so. so that's how you can solve that. All right, so now that I have it all set up and calibrated, I'm gonna take it for a drive to show you guys how it works while driving. So I'm gonna start off in the stock mode uh, for when I just get out to the street. And then once I'm out on the street, I'll switch mode so I can show you guys, um, if I'll be able to show you guys the different levels of sensitivity through the street mode, sport mode, and race mode.
All right, so I'm gonna put it in the stage two setting, which is the yellow orange one. And we're gonna try that out. I'm barely stepping on the pedal and this thing wants to take off. Here, so I'll put it in race mode since I'm at a stoplight. So the best way to show you guys how each mode affects the sensitivity of the pedal, I'll just step on the pedal the same amount each time on each of the modes. And we'll look at the RPMs and see how high they jump up with each of the modes. So, so I'm on stock mode right now and I'm just gonna step on the pedal a little bit. That's how high I jumped and then I'll switch it to the street mode and I'll step on the pedal the same amount and you can see it jumped up a little higher there and then I'll go to the stage two sport mode and then that one jumped up even higher and then on the race mode, the most aggressive mode, I'll do the same thing. And you can see like I barely stepped on the pedal just now. Yeah, barely. And the thing just jumps up. I'll actually probably show you guys, I'll probably install it one day on the 335i to see how it does on that car since that one has more power than this one. So overall I do think this is a pretty cool mod that I do recommend you get if you have a 328i with the N52 since we know it is very hard to squeeze more power out of the N52 being naturally aspirated. So I think this mod does help in terms of making the car more fun to drive since the throttle response is pretty sluggish on the N52 since there's no turbocharged or forced induction, it's just naturally aspirated. I do think this mod helps to make the car more fun to drive and feel a little bit quicker, like it has more torque. Um, and I think it's cool that you're able to, you know, adjust it on the spot if you want to just drive in stock mode, if you want to cruise, or if you want to, you feel like driving fast and more aggressive, you can just put it in race mode or sport mode or whatever to just adjust it how you like in the moment. I do think that's the coolest part about it, and it's very easy to install as you saw, and it's not too expensive, it's $180, which I think is reasonable for what you get. Um, but again, like I said, you don't get any power out of this mod, only throttle adjustability in terms of sensitivity of the pedal. I've had this little pedal tuner on my 328i for about a year. I did use it quite a bit uh, for the first few months, then I started kind of just staying in one mode or um, staying in stock mode. But then once I got the 335i, I started just, I just left it in stock and I haven't really messed with it since I got the 335 since that's faster obviously without needing the pedal tuner. Um, but I actually may, now that I think about it, I may actually try the pedal tuner on the 335i since I do believe it is compatible with the F30 also. So I may do that, I may do another video just to show you guys how that is on the 335i. I do have this mod paired with a three stage intake manifold swap and a tune so it was kind of like the icing on the cake and it just completely changed how the car drove compared to when I got it when it was completely stock. The throttle response is way more quicker and it's just overall it has a little bit more power in the higher RPMs when I'm stepping on it. So that's going to wrap up this video. I hope this video was kind of informative and helpful and maybe offered a mod you guys can do to your 328i. I will link the BMS pedal tuner down below right from Burger Motorsports if you want to check it out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and you like this video and subscribe for more videos like this on my BMW 90 or my F33 35i if that's something you'd want to see. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but I will see you guys in the next one.